everyone. Welcome to another episode of Mom Power Talk. Today, we're diving into something real, raw, and unfiltered motherhood without the filters. That's right. We're talking about the parts of motherhood that don't always make it to Instagram exhaustion, doubt, frustration, and all the emotions in between. No sugarcoating here. It's time to get real about what being a mom is truly like. We're sharing our honest experiences and stories, and we've got some advice that comes straight from the trenches. If you've ever felt like you're the only one struggling, this episode is for you. Let's start with something every mom knows exhaustion. Those sleepless nights, the constant demands, it all adds up. Oh yeah, I remember when I was in the thick of it up every two hours with my newborn. I felt like I was barely functioning, but everyone around me seemed to have it all together. Same here. There were days I felt like I was running on fumes. You hear sleep when the baby sleeps, but honestly, that's not always possible. I'll never forget the time I stayed up all night with my son when he was teething. By the next day, I was a wreck emotionally and physically. I snapped at my husband, I felt guilty, and I realized I needed to ask for help instead of trying to be super mom. Next up, let's talk about mom guilt. We all deal with it, whether it's guilt over working, guilt for taking time for yourself, or even guilt over how you parent. It's relentless, isn't it? I'd feel guilty for not spending enough time with my kids because of work, then feel bad for not giving enough attention to my job. It's a constant battle in your head. Absolutely. And it doesn't help that social media shows these perfect mom images. It makes you feel like you're falling short, even when you're doing your best. I remember one day I was juggling a work deadline and my daughter was begging me to play. I felt so torn. By the end of the day, I had finished my project but felt like I had let her down. That guilt stuck with me for days. Burnout is real. There are days when it feels like you're just on autopilot taking care of everyone but yourself. I've been there. You think you can do it all, and before you know it, you're running on empty. It's okay to admit that motherhood is hard. Last year, I hit a wall. Between managing the kids, work, and household responsibilities, I felt like I had nothing left to give. I realized I needed to start prioritizing myself, whether it was taking a walk alone or just having 10 minutes of quiet. One of the hardest things about motherhood is realizing that you don't always have the answers. You're figuring it out as you go. Right. We all have those moments where you feel completely clueless, whether it's about feeding, sleep routines, or discipline. I remember when my son had a fever for the first time. I was panicking, looking up everything online, and second-guessing every decision. It took me a while to realize that it's okay to not have all the answers right away. Perfectionism is another thing we need to let go of as moms. It's impossible to be perfect all the time. So true. We put so much pressure on ourselves to have the perfect house, perfect kids, and to be the perfect mom. But honestly, no one has it all figured out. I used to stress about having a spotless house while raising my kids. One day, I broke down over a pile of laundry, and that's when I realized that some things just have to give. My kids don't care if the house is messy, they care that I'm present. One of the best things we can do for ourselves is to stop comparing our motherhood journey to others. Yes, every mom is on her own path. What works for one family might not work for yours, and that's okay. I used to compare myself to other moms on social media who seemed to have it all together. I'd feel like I wasn't doing enough. It wasn't until I focused on my own strengths that I started to let go of that comparison trap. Motherhood brings up so many emotions, joy, love, frustration, and sometimes anger and it's okay to feel all of them. We need to give ourselves permission to feel without judgment. It doesn't make you a bad mom to feel overwhelmed or frustrated. There were days I'd feel so guilty for losing my patience with my kids, but then I realized that I'm human, and they need to see that emotions are normal too. It's about how we handle those emotions that matters. There's no shame in asking for help. Whether it's from your partner, family, or friends, we're not meant to do this alone. That's so true. I used to think I had to do everything on my own. But once I started asking for help, I realized how much better I felt and how much happier my family was. I remember the first time I asked my husband to take over bedtime so I could have a break. It felt like a weight lifted off my shoulders and I realized I didn't have to do it all. We can't talk about motherhood without mentioning self-care. It's not a luxury, it's essential. We've both had to learn that taking time for ourselves makes us better moms. Even if it's just a few minutes a day, it makes a huge difference. I used to feel guilty about taking time for myself, 
but once I started prioritizing it, whether it was a walk or a quick cut coffee break, I noticed how much more patient and present I was with my kids. Motherhood is hard, but it's easier when we lean on each other. Community is everything. Whether it's a mom group, a friend, or even an online community, having people who understand what you're going through is so important. I found so much comfort in connecting with other moms who were going through the same things as me. It reminded me that I wasn't alone, and it gave me the strength to keep going. One thing I've learned is how crucial it is to set boundaries, not just with your kids, but with everyone around you. It's okay to say no sometimes. Absolutely. For a long time, I felt like I had to say yes to everything, work commitments, social gatherings, volunteering at school, but setting boundaries helped me regain my time and energy. I used to be such a people pleaser. I'd agree to every play date, every event, even if it meant sacrificing my own time. Once I started saying no to things that didn't serve me or my family, I felt so much more balanced. Another big lesson is embracing imperfection. Motherhood is messy, and that's okay. Oh, yes. We've got to let go of the idea that everything needs to be perfect, whether it's our parenting style, our homes, or even ourselves. I used to feel terrible when I couldn't get everything done like the house was a mess or dinner wasn't perfect, but then I realized the kids don't care about those things. They just care that I'm there for them. One thing that's helped me a lot is learning to find joy in the little moments, those small, everyday things. Yes. Whether it's a giggle during bath time or a quiet moment with a cup of coffee, those are the moments that really matter. I remember a time when I was feeling overwhelmed and exhausted, but then my daughter randomly hugged me and said, I love you, Mommy. That small moment made everything feel worth it. And finally, we need to remind ourselves that motherhood is an ongoing journey. We're all constantly learning and evolving. Exactly. We don't have to have it all figured out. It's okay to grow and change as we go through different stages of parenting. So moms, that's a wrap for today's episode. We hope this conversation reminded you that it's okay to embrace the unfiltered parts of motherhood. And remember, there's no such thing as a perfect mom, only a real one. Thanks for listening and keep taking care of yourselves and your families.